Ten years ago, WKU's Florence Schneider Hall was retrofitted to accommodate 120 students as Kentucky prepared to open the state's first high school for gifted students. That number will increase to 200 as a result of this expansion. The countdown is on for the opening of the newly expanded Gatton Academy. We're really excited about bringing in, you know, about 100 new students this year the largest class we've ever had. For Julia Roberts, this has been part of the plan since the Academy was first proposed in 1997. We are delighted with the opportunities that the expansion will make for more students and more space within the building to be together. The $10 million project began 15 months ago. Two new wings were added on each end and a large gathering space in the middle. The Great Hall is really exciting. It, it will be nice to have a place where our students can study and gather regularly. Our fourth floor used to be our gathering space, but it was also the hangout. It, it was very much a multi-purpose space. Now that can be the den. It can be a place to socialize and hang out and really be fun. The ping pong table can be out all the time. Breedlove says the common areas on each wing will also bring new energy. They really have gotten a facelift with the whiteboard paint on the walls and the more fun carpet and they're getting really fun furniture. Admissions staff members are excited to once again be able to show off the building on Gatton's preview day. It's a huge game changer when you're talking to families to have a building like this. To think that this has been accomplished with private funding for the expansion is absolutely marvelous. Now a team effort is underway to get everything finished. Everybody's working as hard as they can to get everything done um, by the time that students get here in just about a month and it'll be done. After receiving legislative approval for the expansion, the building's namesake, Carol Martin Bill Gatton, provided the lead gift and other private donations round out the $10 million price tag. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.